Hello, Essential Math students. This video will walk you through the Your Budget assignment. This assignment has a lot of reading and many steps, so you might want to have your file open and work through it together. You can hit pause to do your own calculations. Today we're going to travel ahead in time a couple of years. Are you ready? Let's go. Congratulations! You've graduated from high school and you're ready to make it on your own in the real world. Of course, your first step is to get a job. The good news is you don't even have to interview. I'm going to give you choices of some jobs you could get right out of high school. On your document, you'll want to look at the six options below. Pick a job from the six options below. Which one did you choose and why? I'm going to choose the floral designer. This is an option you don't have, so your worksheet will be different than mine. So in number one, fill in the job you chose and why you picked it. Then scroll down to the next page. The monthly salaries of these jobs range from about $1,000 to almost $2,000. Think that sounds like a lot? In this lesson, we're going to find out just how far that salary goes. You're going to create a budget or a plan for spending money. The first step is to figure out your, in, out your income or the money coming in. Your salary is different from your take home pay or your paycheck because money is deducted or taken out of every paycheck you earn. These are called deductions. The main taxes deducted from your paycheck are federal income tax, state and local income tax, and social security tax. Federal, state, and local income taxes pay for things like roads, the military, schools, parks, and police and fire services. Social security tax helps pay benefits to people who are disabled or retired. About 30% of your salary will be deducted. The rest is what you have to live on. Now we're gonna fill out the table to calculate our monthly income. Remember, I have a different job than you, so my answers are going to be different. So first, I have to fill out my gross monthly salary. This is from the job I picked above. So I'm going to scroll back up and remind myself that I am a floral designer and I make $1,110 $1, per month. So in the first box, I'm going to type my salary, $1,110. One hundred and ten. Now I have to figure out my deductions. Deductions are about 30% of your salary. So I'm going to multiply my salary in A by 0.3. Grab your calculator. So take your salary, in my case 1,110, times 0.3. Okay, $333. Put that in box B for your deductions. So in my case, about $333 will be taken out of my paycheck. Now we're going to find our net monthly income. This is the salary minus our deductions. So in other words, row A minus row B. So $1,110 minus $333 gives me my monthly income of $777. Wow, that doesn't seem like a lot to live on. Now that you've figured out your monthly paycheck, how are you going to spend it? Where will you live? How will you get around? What will you do for fun? The following pages provide options for housing, transportation, and leisure items. You will choose one option for housing, one for transportation, and up to three leisure items. These are some of the fun things you might hope to do as an adult. A couple of things to note. A place to live will probably be your single biggest expense. So we've given you the option of living at home with your family and giving them a little rent money or sharing your space with roommates and dividing the rent between you. Also, you'll note that some of the leisure items are too big to buy in a single month. So we've divided the payments up so you can pay for them a little bit at a time. In real life, it's expensive to do this. Credit card companies charge interest, 
And if you spread out the payments, your purchase can cost many times its original price. The first thing we need to decide is where to live. Again, you'll be given some options. Yours might be a little different than mine. This one sounds interesting. I think I'm going to do the West Metro apartment. It's a two bedroom unit. Now the rent is $1,000 per month. I don't have that much money. So I'm going to have to have a roommate. So I'm going to live in the West Metro and share with a roommate. So we'll each spend $500 per month. So I'm going back up to answer number three. A West Metro apartment with a roommate. And that is going to cost me $500 per month. Let's keep going. Since we have a job, we need some way to get around. So again, you're going to look at your options. You can pick between vehicles, riding the bus. Look at what kind of car you want to buy. Oh, that Honda Civic looks nice. So I can buy that Honda Civic for $225 per month. Let's go with it. So scroll back up to number four and type down what you're gonna buy. Now let's look at what we'll do for fun. You have options on the next two pages. So decide what you'd like to do. You can pick up to three options. Oh, I think I definitely need a TV. So I'd like to buy the TV, probably a laptop. And if I have a laptop, I'm going to need internet. And cable for my TV. Now is the time to put it all together. For this table, you're going to have to do a lot of scrolling back and forth. First, let's look at our monthly rent. Your monthly rent was up in number three. I picked the West Metro apartment that cost $500 per month. I feel 500 in my first row. Oh, now it says household bills. I suppose that's things like electricity and garbage and phone. Oh, that can run 20% of my rent. So I have to take my rent and multiply it by 0.2. So 500 times 0.2, which is 20%, that's gonna cost me another $100 per month. Okay, now let's look at our transportation. Remember, I bought that used Civic. The used Civic was going to cost me $225 per month. But now that I have a car, I need to take care of it and buy gas. That's about 30% of my monthly payment. So we're going to multiply our monthly payment, in my case, 225 times 0.3. I'm going to spend $67.50 on, on gas and upkeep. Ah, uh, now the fun things. Remember, we picked some leisure items. You'll want to scroll back up and remind yourself what you picked. So for leisure item one, I picked a TV and that was going to cost me only $15 per month. For leisure item two, I bought a laptop for $42 per month. And for leisure item three, I have internet and cable. That was $100. Now I need to eat. So groceries can run about $150 to $300 per month, depending on what and how much you eat. I don't go out to eat very much, but I do like to buy healthy fresh fruits, which sometimes can cost more money. I think I'm going to put down $200 for my groceries. Uh, and right now, I don't think I'm going to do much for clothing and personal supplies. I will need things like shampoo and soap. Mm, so let's just put down $25. Now I need the total. Let's add all those expenses. 
500 plus 100 plus 225 plus 67.5 plus 15 plus 42 plus 100 plus 200 plus 25. That means my expenses were $1,274.50. So there's my total expenses for my month. Let's see what this means. Let's compare our income to our expenses. Am I gonna have enough money? Look back up at number two to find your net monthly income. Remember, this was your take home pay, the amount your paycheck will out actually be. Ooh, ouch. Looks like my income is only $777. I'm gonna fill my income in as 777. Oh, my monthly expenses from up above was $1,274.50. Now I'm gonna subtract them. We always do the income minus expenses. My income was $777 minus $1,274.50. That means my balance is negative $497.50. A negative answer means I don't have enough money. My income needs to be bigger than my expenses. So I'm kind of surprised. I didn't have enough to live on. I would have to go back and think about what changes I could make if this were my actual life.